Um, I thought I had it straight. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and be included. And hopefully you can see me blushing through, th through the screen here. <laughs> <laughs> So we were, uh, you know, talking about evidence-based medicine, um, also some of the common sense logic aspect of things in, in terms of recommendations for, for OA. And before you popped on, um, Hannah asked us the question, uh, you know, if you had to pick one thing in the area of OA what, uh, that, that you would recommend to clients with the most evidence-based, what would it be? Oh, for me, it would be weight loss, weight management. Um, without a doubt. Yeah. Did so you I guys already we, chat uh, about that? <laughs> well, we were. We were just chatting about it. You know, we, yeah. I, I think we have a consensus uh, between anti-inflammatories and weight loss would probably be mm -hmm. the, the top two. And then I don't know about you guys, but then it kind of sharply dips for evidence thereafter. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, I, I would to totally agree. Um, you know, I think after that, in terms of the conversations I have, would probably be Adequan. Um, if okay. we're looking at any sort of supplements or omega threes, but even then, um, compared to, to anti-inflammatories, of course, they're, they're without a doubt going to be the the most evidence based out there. Uh. That's it. That's interesting because I guess if you look at it, like I, obviously more of a surgeon's perspective, I was going to say if my 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 next one about how much evidence do we have behind behind things mine was a huge jump from non-steroidals probably down to joint replacement so it's just like that's where absolutely I'm yeah <laughs> yeah I, I mean you know you know as a surgeon as well a joint replacement's great um i, th I think from a hip standpoint we've got those down pretty well uh knees elbows ankles yeah, not so much <laughs> yeah. yeah we got a lot of work to do you know my hope would be and kind of what i tell clients is that you know, think of the joint like an organ, and we're trying to prevent organ failure because organ failure is going to be a joint replacement. And so, um, you know, Adequan is, a, is an interesting one. And, um, you know, I think you guys would agree that it all, it comes down to early identification of, of OA for, for some of those. Um, and then, uh, let's see, can you guys see the comments about mm -hmm. the question about expense behind uh, clinical trials 